Phoebe Guyver, central midfielder. Um, it was Royston away. Um, I can't. It was a, it was a really cold day. I remember we had about a bare minimum um, of I think we had eleven maybe. I can't remember if we had eleven, twelve. <clears throat> and um, I just remember our centre back at the time, Bex, just got caught in the head and just had a massive um, lump on her head um, and had to be taken. Um, off, I think she had to go to hospital because of it. <laughs> it was just a bit of a, a bit of a messy first game. I can't actually remember the result or anything. That's literally all that I've uh, taken from that one. But I think it will stick with me as um, <laughs> my first game with Sudbury. I don't, I don't think I can give an answer for this one. To be fair, everyone, from what I can remember, um, trains really well. Obviously, I have a few injuries and things. But otherwise, everyone's pretty good, so I'm not trying to sit on the fence. I just think it's difficult because everyone actually has pretty good training there. Um, I don't go and watch that much football live, um, my, or like in stadiums. The most football that I have been to watch is probably uh, my boyfriend's football, but I can't really say that that's memorable. Um, the most memorable one that I've probably seen is um, a Spurs, my first Spurs game that I went to see. Um, it was when I was about 10, 9, 10 years old, they were playing Backburn. Um, we, at the time, I was playing for Spurs, so we managed to, I think we did like a, a lap of the pitch. Um, saw Martin Yole at the time, who was the manager, and I think it was only a, a draw with Jermaine Defoe's, I think he scored. Um, but it was just such a memorable moment for me, just because it was my first game to go and see, and I was with kind of the first team that I was playing with, so that one will probably stick with me for quite a while. Um, <laughs> Your boyfriend Carl supports Spurs. Have you been afflicted with the same disease? Unfortunately, I have. I'm a Spurs fan as well. So um, initially, I was. I don't like to admit it, but I was initially a United fan. Um, but where I was playing for the Spurs, where I was younger, it just made sense to become a Spurs fan. Um, and haven't looked back since. It's been a lot of ups and downs, but I'm still a proud Spurs fan. Um, I'm quite an odd one. I do like pizza, but I don't like cheese. <laughs> I don't like cheese. I don't like cheese. So I have, I tend to have just the tomato sauce base and then just pepperoni. Pepperoni always the ch choice and Papa John's, got to go to Papa John's every time. Um, I've played for them for quite a while. I don't have a particular um, moment for myself. Over the last season, I think the most memorable game was probably when we played Cambridge at home. Um, I just got back from holiday. I think it was my first game back. Um, they're a really good side and it was a really big battle. We went down to 10 men. We were 2 nil up, playing really, really well. Um, I think they got one back, but we held on with 10 men and it was it was just such a great game as a, as a team and the result for us was really good. Um, so I think that's one that will stick with me. Um, I haven't actually really thought about this in depth, to be fair. And um, when we've been talking, kind of me and Carl, we've been discussing kind of going to dinner with family, friends. There's a Turkish up the road that we want to go to because we haven't been there in a while, so we'll probably go there. Um, we've also got a holiday booked in September, so really crossing our fingers that we'll be able to go um, on holiday, just get some sun, chill for a bit, um, but nothing, nothing really exciting. Um, if it's the basic uh, vanilla strawberry um, ice cream or chocolate, I'd probably go chocolate on that one. If it's like a Ben and Jerry's, then my favourite is fish food, just got to love that one. 
Um, I'd probably most like to be stuck with um, Amanda, probably, just because she's, she's a mum, she's quite organised, she always remembers everything. Um, I feel like you'd be able to rely on her to stay safe and take care of you. I feel like on my own I wouldn't be able to survive, but with Amanda she would make sure that you live. <laughs> um, and maybe least likely would probably be, I don't know, um, it would probably be Penny, only because I feel like she she enjoys spending time like she where she works and everything. She enjoys spending time with animals, so I feel like I'd get on her nerves after probably a few hours, and then she'd go off and find some animals to spend her time with, or she'd probably hurt herself, and then it would leave for me to fend for us. So I don't think we'd survive if it was just me fending for us both. <laughs> Um, my favourite holiday destination by far is uh, Florida. We've been there um, quite a few times growing up, so I've got quite a lot of memories there, good times there, so I really enjoy it. And it's just such a, I think, great place to go away. Um, it's such a like bubble from work and your normal life while you're there, and then you can just chill out before you get back home again. Um, I'm not, it's a bit of a difficult one because I'm not seeing everyone's moves, but um, what I have seen is probably probably be Tegan and CJ, probably. Um, they don't mind sort of in the change room and things. Got their little routine sometimes, so, you know, they can be best answer. Um, I'd probably say myself, to be honest, but I would not trust myself with a last minute penalty at all. Um, with the team, it's difficult because I don't think we've actually done that many many sort of penalties or um, everyone, when we do shooting, most people are pretty good, I think. So other than myself, I'm not really sure to be fair, everyone's usually pretty good. I would trust people to take penalties in the last minute and score it. Um, from my experience, I wouldn't say we've got like a massive out and out joker, but I'd probably say the person that sort of tries to go around maybe putting smile on people's faces, sort of joking, is probably CJ. Um, she's usually joking around and having a laugh. You don't really find her that serious most of the time, so I'd probably say her as the joker.